Today we're going to make some art inspired by street artist Jay Goldcrown, or James Goldcrown. You need a messy mat, a white paper, and please get your name up in a corner or on the back if you need to. And we're using watercolors for this. It's going to be kind of an organized mess. Now James is best known for his bleeding hearts or his love walls where he spray paints hundreds or thousands of hearts all over the wall and they're all layered. So he has a lot of repetition. So the best way to do repetition is you paint the same thing over and over, you use the same color for a while and that makes things a little easier. But his hearts, because he used spray paint on a wall, they were called bleeding hearts because they look like they're bleeding, they're dripping. So we're going to paint hearts the best that you can with the watercolor and especially on the bottom we want to put too much paint and it can also be helpful here and there to make little bitty notches for the extra paint to flow. I'm even adding some extra water right here. Once you paint it, your next task is pick up your paper and gently tap. Make sure it's on the messy mat and then it will bleed. So if I want this to have more of a bleeding effect, I can add more liquid to the top, put a little notch and tap and it's going to start bleeding. So I want to take the same color and repeat it several times. Once you finish with one color, clean your brush really well, and then you move on to the next one. Now, these are really wet, so when you paint your other colors on top, things are going to mix. If you want to avoid ugly colors, then you want to use colors that are next door to each other on the color wheel. That way you won't have that problem. For example, if I have this orange and I put blue hearts on and the colors run together, they're going to make a brown and it's not going to look nice. If I use red instead, which is beside orange, and then they run together, it won't look bad because it'll make a nice red orange. While you are painting your hearts, make sure you also use something called balance. We want to have the same amount of stuff scattered around the entire picture. And it's okay if your hearts overlap. It's okay if they touch. Just make sure they all end up dripping a little bit and they're evenly scattered all over your page. 